Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today, let's take a look at the best gear, in my opinion, for a small home network. This is relatively low cost and can scale if you need to change in the future. So let's jump in and take a closer look at the gear that I've chosen. First, we need to start with a gateway and I've chosen the Cloud Gateway Max with no storage. The Cloud Gateway Max provides the full Unify application experience, including Unify Network, Protect, Talk and Access and Connect and comes in at $199 USD. With the no storage option, if you ever do look at upgrading for some drive space in the future, you could buy an M2 tray from the Ubiquiti store and that's an extra $19 USD. The next device we'll need is a switch. And for this, I've chosen the Pro Max 16 PoE. There are a few reasons why I chose this. One, it has four times 2.5 gigabit ethernet interfaces that has PoE++. With any newer access point, you're going to have a minimum of a 2.5 gig Ethernet interface. Also, if you're wanting to add something like the Unified Door Access Hub, the G4 PTZ Industrial, or a Connect Display, you're going to need the PoE++ interfaces. Now for racking, you could either put it on a shelf, a desk, or you could purchase the Pro Max 16 mounting kit for an additional $49. Also, let's not forget the ether lighting, which makes this switch look really nice. And the last thing that we need to choose is which access point are we gonna use? And for this build, I chose the latest and greatest, the U7 Pro Max. The U7 Pro Max supports Wi-Fi 7 with eight spatial streams. It has a dedicated radio to do real-time spectral scanning and comes in at $279. So for this whole build with no add-ons, you're looking at $877 plus tax USD. To get a fully managed network and into the ubiquity space, I think this is a great price. Now let's dive into the network application and take a look at some of the settings. Now we have everything powered up and connected. This is the main dashboard for where we would adopt unified devices into the network application. We'd see right at the top here, if I click on this, this is the UCG Max and we already have the Pro Max 16 PoE adopted. The last one we need to adopt is the U7 Pro Max. All we need to do for it to come into the application is click to adopt. Now with that adopting, we could go over to our settings wheel and this is where we're gonna do all of our configuration. So we could create different networks. I could create a new virtual network. Say this is for a guest network in my house. If we scroll down, we're gonna see that it's on auto scale and then we could click on manual. Since this is a guest network, I'm going to check on the guest network. We get to hover over the eye icon to read what it does. So it says isolates this network from other virtual networks not defined as guest networks using firewall rules on the unified gateway. Guests on this network are able to communicate with each other and access the internet. If the landing page is enabled in the hotspot manager, guests are also redirected for authentication. Now we're not gonna have the hotspot manager turned on, not in this video. Now the reason I think the Cloud Gateway Max is perfect for a home is that it gives us a bunch of different features. One, we could do 1.5 gigabit routing with IDS and IPS turned on. So if we go over to our security and click on intrusion prevention, we could make this advanced or we could do auto. We're gonna tell it which networks we want it to be active on. And I'm gonna do notify and block and I would do hi. If we click on customize, you would see that we have 35 different detection sensitivity. I'm gonna cancel out of that and I'm gonna put mine on high and that will cover all 35 of those and then I'll apply the changes. This also gives us the ability to do honeypot so we could create new and the honeypots always take the dot two. So for our default network, it will be 192.168.1.2 and I'll create that. We'll create another one for our guest and it will be 192.168.2.2. If you're statically assigning anything, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't have anything ending in two. Now, just like the other gateways, like the UDM Pro Max, we could do country restrictions or geo filtering. If we click on the country restrictions, we could either block or we could allow both directions ongoing or incoming. So you could click to select the country or territory and then choose whoever you wanna block out. Another great thing with the Cloud Gateway Max, especially if you work from home, we have the ability to have two different WAN connections. So we could either have it in failover or we could have it in distributed for our load balancing. So that is a big plus. Taking a look at our Pro Max 16 PoE switch, a lot of new home builds, they don't run any cabling in their homes. So having 16 ports is usually more than enough. And this has PoE. We have 180 watts to work with. 
you could see right here that my uplink is on port one and that's going at one gigabit. I have my U7 Pro Max on port 16 and that's going at 2.5 where you tell by the colors. If we click on the settings wheel, we could also change the ether lighting for this. Right now it's just set by the speed. So for fast ethernet, it's showing this yellow color, but if we want it to be maybe red, we could change that or we could change it by the network. If you don't like the breathing mode that it has, we could also turn that off. There's a couple of cool things with the U7 Pro Max. If we click on the device and then select spectrum, we could see the waveform or the waterfall of what's around us, which is a really nice feature to have. Also, if we click back on it, we could do this packet capture. So clicking on packet capture, we could do either wireless or the uplink port and then define which radios we want to do it for 2.4, 5 or 6 gigahertz and what network. We could also do the duration. Once the packet capture is done, we could analyze it in something like Wireshark. Now, other features that we could talk about if you're just starting out in Ubiquity networks or you're just getting this for your house is the ability to set up VPNs. Teleport VPN is probably the easiest to do, but we also have a VPN server where we could use WireGuard, OpenVPN, or L2TP. If we're looking to route a full network over something like NordVPN, we could do that with the VPN client. Again, we have WireGuard and OpenVPN, and then we have our basic site-to-site -site VPNs with OpenVPN or IPsec. We also have a ton of other advanced features. So we have policy-based routing, we have static routes, we have OSPF, DNS, and then we have NAT. Within our security, if we go to traffic and firewall rules, we could do whatever firewall rules we want. We could do it simple or advanced. If we create an entry, we could block out things like app groups, or we could just do a specific application. We could say what device or what network to do. We'll say all devices, and then maybe we'll block out an app, and we'll say that it is TikTok. We'll block out TikTok fully, or you could put it on a schedule. So if you only want people to watch it between 9 p.m. and midnight, you could set that schedule right up. And we could also do a speed limit. So this speed limit would work on the Wi-Fi as well as the wired network. Going over to profiles, we can set Wi-Fi speed limits, but if somebody plugs in a cable, they won't have that limit. They'll get full line speed. And that's going to be it for this video on my top small home unified devices. I think for anyone wanting to learn how to program Ubiquiti devices or just want a solid managed network in their home, this setup would work great. Let me know down in the comments below what devices you're running in your home network. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.